It is very, very personal, but... Right, yeah. We have eight badges. Ah! Hi, how's it going, Drake Lex? Um, so today is going to be a lot of... It's going to be the about usual length of the stream. It's just going to culminate in Victory Road. But... I need to get my old friend out. Okay, so before I do this, let me... Mute site, go back, do this. There we go. Now I can unmute site. I have my thing ready. More Monster Sanctuary. Yeah, you recommended that to me. Good game that I should play. Yep, there it is. <laughs> okay, I saw a ping in a server and it's like, okay. Should be hopefully the last ping from that server until the general stuff starts happening <laughs> that I signed up for. I can't complain. that not only does it have a randomizer mode, it's two halves of a Nuzlocke mode. Oh, interesting. Crossing with Animal Crossing animated. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we got all eight badges. It's time to go clean up the ocean, the entire ocean, get up to par level-wise, and then take on um, Dude Guy, McFace, Wally Guy. I would love to use Ludicolo, but dear God, do you just not have grass moves? You are effectively a water Pokemon right now. Drink all the ocean water. Wait, do I? I don't have Tropius on me, do I? No, okay. But I need Tropius or Gyarados to escape this uh, place, so. Permadeath mode. When it fails, it spits you back out in normal game. Use only teammates. Said. Bravery mode gives you an egg from one monster. Okay. Oh, I see. So two halves of a Nuzlocke. I see exactly what you mean. Modes are unlocked being the game. Oh, okay. Gathers over 35. Because it's just easier for pen to melding. Right, I got the tropius out. We're gonna do some tropes. Did I even. I did not even. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do. Yeah, um, it's it's absolutely uh, pen. Why gathering specifically is a little beyond me, but it's definitely for pentamelding, because you don't just pentameld, you know, two tens and a bunch of nines, because you're not gonna. <laughs> like the percent chance is like, you're you're not gonna. 
I think it's less important for gatherers than crafters. I could be wrong. This could be straight misinformation. Okay, so the risky thing about taking my full team- they're, Yeah, they're also obnoxious to get- they really are. Some melds, but not Penta. Okay. Like, probably some over melds, but not Penta. But they are a pain to get. Crafters, you want full Biz Penta meld if you want to have a chance of making gear. I have friends going through that hell. I've decided not to bother. So, yeah, this is just gonna suck because I don't have an easy way back to town, but I want to level up, like, most of my team. I want to keep... Well, Ludicolo's my surfer. has to stay regardless. Unless I bring Gyarados and teach it surf, but that defeats so many of the purpose. I need to check the crafted gear, how it looks. I'm not raiding, so it doesn't matter. But, like, yeah, no, I'm not raiding this year. Like, these raids look neat. I'm gonna have fun watching them. I'm gonna feel really, 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 really bad not raiding this year. But I've decided I'm just definitively not. I had a rival that hated losing to me. They gave up and rethought their life. Okay, so I've done a lot of editing. Oh, it would be a wingle. Of course, you would have a swimsuit and a wingle. using food and drugs, yeah. But like, I'm very much not um, raiding this here at all. Um, I'll feel bad about it later, but I'm definitively not. Uh, I need a break. So like, it's all, the crafted gear is basically aesthetic for me. Crafting new quality food, all right, yeah. You can skip the drugs and just use food. Nice. Oh, crit. Bless up. Okay. So the way I'm handling this is basically when one of my mons is like kind of out of steam, I'm going to switch to a different mon to grind up. should be, in theory, a little less distracted unless something changes. Um, did I fight you? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, four Magikarp trainer. Mock Punch has a lot, and this is just gonna be one hit, one kill. Kinda wish I had, like, saved. I would absolutely throw the Lily here.
It wouldn't really be that much more experience to come in next day. Lamau crit probably didn't matter. I know for a fact you don't have a flying move. Yeah. This Gyarados is, like, kind of not a threat. <sighs> that did nothing. Dom's Gyarados, thank you. As long as I get the EXP for it, anyway. Start to bounce. Pretty much. Like, bounce isn't terrible. It's just not very strong. Just you're, you're kind of using it for the two turn and the paralyze. Of course, if something has protect or any variant thereof, it's a, it's a colossal waste. That was good EXP. Level 45 magic art. Crit might have mattered. <laughs> so yeah, I did a lot of editing this week. Keep an eye up for parts 37 and 39 of Emerald. I went silly with the editing. Crit happens, yeah. For once, it's happening from my side, so that's pretty cool. So in theory, I am less distracted. Whalmer, Palmer. Whalmer, Palmer. Oh, let's just stick with Mock Punch. I want Breloom to like actually catch up. Breloom is kind of my answer for Steven, so. thing I want to actually die though because it's gonna poison. Um Sky Uppercut, okay. It's only a 90 accuracy, but it is powerful. Okay, hot take. I have other sources of leech seed. Yeah, I'm replacing 190. Yo, I have other uses for leech seed. I have other places to put leech seed on things. Good start. Good start. Lamau effect spore, you nerd. Great monster that you found. Wow, good. 90 accuracy, by the way. I'm already, like, regretting Sky Uppercut. I already hate it. Thank you. Uh, found his fire dragon. Wow, go figure called Draco Grand that you've managed to turn into an absolute menace. Thanks to support monster you're using. 12 hit combo with 100% crit rate. Fun. There's no PvP because I'm not fighting you, right? I'm never fighting that. <laughs> that sounds like not a thing I want to fight. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of this episode is going to be the ocean and me cleaning up trainers in the ocean, getting like bits of EXP. A lot of team setups to get crazy. Yeah, no, I kind of figured as much. Nice. 
Nice, one more. Do I have a rare candy actually? It'd be great. Yeah, you're a special tank. It's gonna be super effective, that's fine. It's defense fall. I think strength kills. Synergy and fast battles, yeah. Felt. God, fun. I'm gonna make a drain for my HP more than anything. There we go. Was that that thing? Um... God, I lost my entire train of thought, sorry. But yeah, no, I think I've seen gameplay. It does look neat. Right, yeah, 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 okay, I remember now. I'm so out of it. <laughs> okay, five Mega Drain, seven Strengths. Trying to conserve moves as best I can with Raylan to stretch out her longevity. Oh no! So realistically, I should be sailing back west to try and land that town and clean up any trainers I missed that way. But, God, I, I don't know. I would love a checklist. <laughs> this time it was a Twitch end. <laughs> oh no! Anyway. Things like Carvana and Sharpedo are really good for Mega Drain if I'm low on health, especially. Glub. Did I just say glub? Wow, that was the shortest super repel I've ever seen. I need to buy more. Where am I on the map? <laughs> okay. We go west. Best we can. Okay, I have actually fought you. Very good. There's a chance I don't have to clean up around here. Okay, there's a chance I do have to clean up around here. Okay, never mind. Ah, uh -huh. I believe the Marrow line is more physically tanky. Oh, never mind, that was a crit. I guess we'll never know. Like, Mach Punch isn't a strong move, so we're okay there. Reloom is like my answer for Steven Stone, so... Actually, my answer for the first of the Elite Four as well, I don't remember his name. But like... Yeah, Reloom is like kind of my answer for Steven, and that's scary.
Oh, hey, a guy. You are a guy that's fought me before. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've gotten everyone now. So I straight up just need to buy some max repels, like 30 maybe. But while I'm here, I can heal. Sydney, that sounds right. But also I have Cacturn, who is next after Braylon. Did I buy a bunch of lemonades? Yes, I did. Not like enough, but I bought a lot. Okay, Max Repel. That should be fine. I'll still burn all my supers first. How um, many revives I have, but you know. Out of this because like I'm gonna be getting a bunch of full restores when I get to the Elite Four. If I could get a freebie though that'd be sick. It's super rare but We got a ton of lemonade. We still got some soda pops for, like, out-of-battle healing. And, uh, we're just gonna go across the ocean. I'm gonna repel and surf rather than take out the, uh, thing. The Tropius. Like, I am not adequately leveled for Wally. Thankfully, as this is not Emeralds, Wally is at the end. Altaria is not a problem. Delcaddy is annoying. Roselia shouldn't be a problem. Magneton is a huge problem. Actually, no, Magneton's fine. Uh, Gardevoir's fine. Okay. Actually, yeah, Gardevoir can only hit with Future Sight on Cacturn, that's good to know. But I'm going for that range. The end where he belongs. Not at the very beginning of the dungeon, but still leveled as if he's at the end of the dungeon. I forgot to hit the, the repel button. <laughs> if I hit the repel button. I should have sold my nugget while I was there. Okay. Doing Nuzlocke on Emerald and not re No, I would have died. I would have absolutely died to Wally.
Yeah, I, I, I'm so glad I did my Nuzlocke on Ruby and not Emerald. I thought about it. I'm like, no, maybe I shouldn't just be thematic and make everything red because I'm Red Mage. I should just uh, do Emerald, the version that everyone likes and is considered the best. Well, have I got news for me? That didn't work out that way. <laughs> I like Gen 3 a lot. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. After essentially beating all of Gen 3 back to back to back to back, I still came out a lot more net positive of Gen 3 than um, I did going into it. I'll be honest. I do like this Gen more than I did. But I don't think I'm going to play this Gen again anytime soon. Well, okay, Fire Red Leaf Green for challenge run purposes. I think I am going to do that. Like, Fire Red Leaf Green is like one of the quintessentially, like, run challenge run games. Yeah, this is just straight up Moss Deep. Okay, so I've cleaned up basically every trainer here. Let's go here now. I know I need to get to Evergrande. Because I technically haven't played through of XD. If I owned it, sure. <laughs> I don't think I do. But I'm not really doing casual slash first playthroughs after Nier and Okami. I'm going to be focusing on challenge runs. Okay, you are bird guy. I'm also pretty sure I fought Bird Guy here. Definitive way to play Gen 1, yeah. Well, it depends. Okay, no, I have fought Bird Guy. Like, after Nier no Kami, I'm gonna be leaning a lot into challenge runs, and then I'm going to be leaning into, um,. Uh, like SNES and PS1 era RPGs I've never played. XD would fit into that technically. Hydrate can do. I forgot to mark it when uh, I was made to hydrate yesterday because I was in a boss battle <laughs> and I felt bad because I checked after stream like, oh, I haven't marked this as confirmed. People could have been yelling at me to hydrate. For the record, if I do foregore and um, people want me to hydrate, you can just yell at me in chat. It's not guaranteed, because it is not a transaction of an imaginary currency, but you can. Okay. This was like the Isle of All the Fisher Dudes, right? Yeah. you. I should put up water in water, but I'm lazy. I don't commit to the bit. Okay, first off. Second off. Okay, that's just the area around Sutopolis, but this is a good point, actually. There's probably dudes around here. dudes. You are dudes I fought. I shouldn't stress too much about hitting Wally's level because there are still trainers in the cave. And realistically, I just need like Ludicolo, Cacturn, and um, Breloon. Sceptile is there for just being the, the flagship. How you doing, Sage? Hello, hello. I hope you're doing well, friendo. Have we fought? We fought. Okay. So, like, while I've told all my friends, yeah, I'll sub in if you need for raid. And I mean that. But, um, it's not very likely because I'm not going to be making any prog on my own. I've just decided I am not raiding this tier. I'm not taking the time to do it. Like... On day one, I might throw up a random blind frog of five, but, um, kind of can't be bothered. <laughs> How 
Have we fought? Yes. Going to New York, drinking some water and water and water of water. You are a cool trainer. I realized I had Cactrin out still this whole time. Cactrin doesn't have a grass move. We have fought. Oh dear, I sure hope I actually didn't clean up the entire ocean last time because I am not leveled for anything. I like Gen 3 a lot more than I did after playing the ever love. I forgot to switch again. Please have like a star you or something. This kind of works. I would love to switch into Breloom, actually, but Cacturn A needs the EXP too. Uh, B, Breloom would just eat a wing attack and just die. Probably not die because of the level differential, but... Yeah, you know what Cacturn needs it too, so... Teleport? Start. Oh, I see. I should have just done faint attack, but I don't want to use them all. Well, this hit, so it's okay. Distracted again. Like, like that's just gonna happen. I'm just gonna get distracted. Yeah, Cacturn definitely needs the EXP as well. Faint attack is good. Probably good enough for like the casual side of things here. Lily, how close are you? Extremely, very good. Might let the uh Repel run out and actually just fight a grass mom or water mom. Actually, yeah, let's let's run out the repel, get the leap up, and then put the exp share on Ludicolo. This is about the only way Ludicolo is leveling in the ocean. That's not going to be a hundred and two exp. One more super low level thing would be great though. It's gonna be a level 35 tentacruel. This will do it. Cool, perfect. Good, great, wonderful!
My team is complete! Wow, that menu sprite. The Digimon is censored, right? Vile Plume could use help as well. It like it has Giga Drain. It has like five hits before it's like out. Six hits before it's like out. Sludge Bomb only has ten. So like Vile Plume can do some work here, kind of. This is why I wanted to do it off of Wild, because I wanted to, um, I wanted to start gaining, like, proper EXP on Ludicolo. Okay, so the one thing I miss Emerald for is that cool rolling animation that Sveal has when it enters battle. Oh, right, Sveal is just Ice type, so yeah, Knock Punch was the answer. Mega Drain should one shot and fully heal. Didn't one shot, but that's fine. Okay, time for you to go. I didn't re repel. I don't necessarily want to waste moves on a wild. Realistically, my first number one priority should be getting to Pacific Log or whatever the town is called. You could have stayed there. Trust this thing not to have static or something. It's gonna do Thunder Wave anyway. Okay, pal, listen up. No. I've decided no. Right. Love this. Ah, uh, you're a trained one, so you don't have a part scale on you, I don't think. Okay, this one is dangerous. I hate you so very much. You know what I'm doing here. You know I'm trying to conserve my moves. Calling right now that it goes for protect again, but I'm gonna do strength in case it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. 
You know what's great? Being an AI and winning coin tosses. Listen here, you... Oh my god. I'm going to actually... I'm, I'm tempted to reset. If, if that had hit, I would have reset. If it had been four protects in a row, I would have absolutely reset. Still tempted to, because three in a row is a lot. That's a lot of strength to lose on a Pelipper. Here, here's me not resetting, mind, but... and level differential. Yeah, okay. I don't know what camouflage does. Chat, what does camouflage do? Because it keeps failing. First off, where am I in the map? Okay, just a straight shot to the left, but I'm going to get into battles before then. That's fine. She can just typed it to ring. Oh, okay. That's why it keeps failing because it's already a water type. Supersonic and it's going to hit. I can see the future! Dove, why aren't you just going for it? It's a 50 50 chance. Because the enemy Pelipper got three protects in a row. That's why I'm lava cooking in confusion. <laughs> That's why. Hawk Punch kills in one. Lottery numbers, uh, seven. Sorry, you start me the only Pokemon that learned that move in this gen. Wow. Wait, how does Kecleon not? I know it already has color change, but. Well, it would have been. You'd think that would be Kecleon's signature move. Because it's a chameleon. That's what they do. If it's log more like slog. I'm just going what I get's what I get. Because I want to hit up a thing. And only an Oros. Wow. Should be 38 Breloom. 34 Ludicolo as well. Yeah, Ludicolo is still fast. That's very good. Whalemer, Palemer.
You are going to protect again, yep. We're doing this again. Yeah, try and fail. Lose a coin toss, you hacking computer. There we go, I'm not actually mad. Now I'm a little mad. I'm only mad when it wins the 50 50. In case another Pelipper decides it wants to protect out all my strength. Okay. Wow, the timing. Living on top of Flotsam is okay. I plan on taking this current back, by the way. After I have uh, cleared out the rest of the ocean. But otherwise, I'm pretty sure this town has nothing. Where did you come from? Yes or no, chat? This is very important. Where did you come from? I did this in Ruby, but I'm doing this again. Where did y'all come from? Yes or no? No? That doesn't make any sense. You have to come from somewhere. Oh, wait, you're not gonna say you're born at the bottom of the sea. How about yes? Yes, yes, town. I've never heard of a place like that. It's so self-aware, but it's like... Came from maybe? I knew someone that came from maybe once. In the before times. Ahem. That should be return, right? That There's value in that. There's value in return. Possibly on Sceptile, honestly. Living in huts on rafts is okay. Yeah, I'm gonna waste a sunstone to get a Corsola. <laughs> village you go right ahead <laughs> I want to live in a gigantic city maybe I don't maybe I want to live in like a small city I healed I'm assuming I did. Okay. I want to live in a cave with a box of scrap. You want to live in Yes Town? I don't. I wouldn't want to live in Yes Town. I'd have to say yes all the time. I already have problems saying no. <laughs> oh, hey, a double battle. This actually is okay. Probably. Gungate, small child. Well, Burn, that would be a paradox. <laughs> it's 
See, if you were fairy type, this would be great because I'd have sludge bomb. That's right. How did Mingle outspeed both of them? Neither are fast, but like. Kinda wish you would hit Vile Bloom though, to be perfectly honest. I'm right next to a center. There's no reason not to go heal. What do I keep doing that? I need to keep here. I'm just like rearranging my windows at this point. Yeah, Baron, that's a paradox, so I'm going to, um, answer as a politician instead, and then, like, burn out my vocal cords. Although technically it isn't, because answering that no doesn't mean that no is the only thing I can say. It means I'm choosing to answer no in that particular moment in time. It does not mean I am incapable of demonstrating any other phrase. You're gonna be annoying. So you know what? I'm gonna counter your stall tag. Stockpile? Okay. Go for protect. I dare you! You should not go for protect. You're going to as soon as I go for faint attack, though. Okay, I was actually expecting it. I was gonna be, like, actually a little mad. <laughs> you did it! Good job. You lived for one extra turn and you're gonna protect. Yep. I should have done Pin Missile. Go for it. I'll just go back to the town and heal. This is fine. Ooh, nice X. Cacturn is getting there, which is very nice. I'm gonna stall out with my Pelipper so that you can't really maximize your time on the route and use your moves effectively to go for trainers without having to go back and heal all the time. I'm like five steps from a town, my guy. Your stall tactics actually don't really do anything. They waste a super repel, I suppose. I have not fought. So how's everyone doing today? How are we doing? Oh, 
hope everyone is having a fine Sunday afternoon. So close. Not in much pain at the moment. Fantastic. Birthday tomorrow. Good luck. Happy birthday. Good luck. I hope you survive the birthday trials. I hope it you I hope that you make it through the cavern of rebirth. This year as in the last. Legit happy birthday. Happy early birthday, because I will forget. Also hope you survive the birthday trials. The Cavern of Rebirth is definitely in a position this year. Oh, oh that was a crit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use a lemonade. Or I'll just win, that works too. Very nice. The cavern of rebirth is definitely in a position in which it's never been. I've heard the trials in this particular moon are especially trying. I don't know where I'm at, by the way. Like, uh, d d don't don't ask. <laughs> just, just please don't ask what any of this is. I'm gonna be near 90 degrees and stormy. Jeez. Well, it probably won't be 90 degrees while stormy, so you've had to look forward to. Birthday trials, Michigan weather. The most dangerous trial known to humankind. Michigan weather. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a mood today. I'm like not here. I woke up, had to deal with stuff. And, um, are you really just gonna, like, casually get a five pack on me? Are you really gonna do that, bruh? Yeah, like, I woke up, I had to deal with stuff. I didn't get to read part seven like I wanted to, more of part seven. Um. because I was busy dealing with stuff. So like, I'm just kind of out of it. So apparently that translates to me doing some loopy bits. I think we should battle. That's why I'm here, pal. Give me exp and currency. How we fit extreme heat and storms into a cavern is beyond me, but your trial is Michigan weather. In case you do something stupid like Dragon Rage. Okay, you're locked into that thing, please. But a crit kills me, so I have to go do a thing. Nothing worried about it. Okay. Right side, it'll be confused. Sweet. Well, on the bright side, it'll be confused again. Okay, 
Okay, so it's like 40. Pretty sure a crit kills me. Okay, that's I just needed it to do it for one turn. Well, I did this. Leech Seed it kills Ingrain, basically, while heals me. It's awfully tough. You had a Gyarados. That was actually well played, my guy. You, you played that pretty well. Not super annoyingly, but you did play that well. I would tip my hat off to you, but I believe I'm wearing a bandana. Away! I'm just gonna do that someone in real life. Someone who's like, you know, I know I'm cool. Like, not talking at the bus stop with someone. Like, I would tip my hat to you, sir, but I'm wearing a bandana. And then just run. Okay, I think I've caught everything. So it's back to Pacifus Log. Unless. No, okay. Actually, wait, no, backup, backup plan. Where am I? To which city am I closer? Equidistant, kinda. thing but like we get the point <laughs> like we just get the point at this point uh tabletop RPG character has no name because of quote fake shenanigans you know what no that checks to Evergrande and then fly back because I would like to at the end of all of this just fly to Evergrande sure I've saved very recently. Evergrande, so I have it as a fly spot. Fly to Pacific Log and then do the thing. It feels like a better use of my time. Okay, so just all the way to the right and then a little more. No, 
add some extra Palatine. Pretty sure I fought you. Pretty sure I fought you. Yeah. Pretty sure I fought you too, but like... I hadn't! Very good. As an aside, something I really like about uh, Evergrande Gen 3 in general is this idea in an RPG where there's one singular town that is separated by a dungeon, possibly with some gate that opens up after you've gone through said dungeon for convenience sake, but, you know, the townspeople can come and go. But the idea that, like, yeah, it's just one town, but there's a dungeon in it. And it's gated the first time you go through. I, I kind of like Victory Road in Evergrande here. Now, I'm pretty sure I can already now sense fly here. Actually, no, I can't because... You don't know Waterfall, do you? I don't suppose you can learn Flash. Sure can't! It's the only one who can out of this entire team. Well, I'm not wasting a move slot on it. Okay, trade the Gyarados for Tropius. Go back to Pacifla to log. Trade Tropius for Cradily. And be on my way. As an aside though, I would probably use the Tropius. Um if like any of the Elite Four were like mega into fighting type. this all the way. I'm pretty sure I've gotten everything in between here. And, um, or between Slateport and Duford. I'm, like, pretty sure. I'm also being silly. I could just catch, like, a Lotad teach it all of those moves so I wouldn't have to deal with the Gyarados, but like have a very specific like HM Lombre. Okay, so I can just fly to Evergrande now, which is like what I want. Who's in front? Cacturn's still very good. Yeah, because I need Needle Arm. That sounds like a post on an internet forum. I contemplate Pokemon 24 hours a day. I go outside sometimes. So I have nothing for you. Being guested, Pokemon Go. Oh. Is 
Of all going outside such grass, 46 and one fifth time per day. Oh no, Ludicolo's identified anyway. Flareon is the only fully evolved fire Pokemon that can't learn Solar Beam, yeah. Machoke trying to set up Dynamic Punch. No! Because Odor Sleuth doesn't do that. We had this conversation in Emerald, I want to say. It is lock on or mind reader. It is not smelling salt or not uh, foresight or odor sleuth. Foresight and odor sleuth just let ghost Pokemon get hit by normal slash fighting moves. Ludicolo's doing fine. Let's give Vile Plume a turn. Perfect accuracy. Mind Reader and Lock On. Vileplume gets like a small turn here because Giga Drain. That's a cool feature to you. Seedra. Okay, I was gonna get mad at that miss just because of how low it is. I'm gonna go ahead and like take this off because Ludicolo can hang here. I just, you know, I want Vile Plume to max out. Monster Sanctuary, once you hit level cap on a monster, fill up the XP bar, getting an item instant levels another monster. Ooh, interesting. And cast away, this is where I've drifted. It's it's currents. You'll just you'll end up at Slateport. You'll be fine. You don't have to live here. You're you're swimming. Or are also you a poet. Are also you, that is what I've said. Malcrit probably matter. Seeking. You lived that. Okay. Really now? Okay. Game actively promotes changing your team to fit the situation. I see. It's kind of an anti-grind feature. Which is not a bad thing.
It's always two levels under the high. Ooh, nice. Yeah, no, that's pretty anti grind. I'm good with that. I remember this route being terrifying. I don't want to take this route again. Okay, I kind of want to do that again, but take the top route. I was not aiming for the dive patch. I don't have a diver on me. Like, what good would going for that dive patch do? Like, I would have to take Gyarados with me to hit a dive patch, and then what would I find down there anyway? Like, I'm here for trainers mostly. See if there's anything in an upper route. And the Reggies. Oh, then that would like double not do me any good. <laughs> literally no reason because I don't have a backup team going on here. We're gonna save, we're gonna max repel, we're gonna hit the waves to see if I missed anything. down there unless it's like another giga drain somehow did i actually pop a repel i don't think i did yeah i didn't okay different trainer I didn't heal.
Okay, you know what? I want to heal, actually, because if I'm going to take her out with uh, Vile Bloom, I want more than three Giga Drain. This is why I didn't use the Repel first. and we're going to be on the water and I'm going to save and then use the repel. Like, it's only a Meryl, but still. There we I'm still gonna sludge bomb this thing, and it's still going to attract, and I'm still going to be mad. But you're poisoned now, so it's okay. You didn't do attract, and I'm very happy about that. That was intentional. I didn't want to waste an attacking move on this thing. Oh no, anyway. I was pretty sure Sludge Bomb was gonna kill at that range. This is worth a Giga Drain. And Azumarill's kinda tanky, so it's gonna live. On true up. I'm not going to repeat this route like three times, but I am going to go true up. Yeah, because there's stuff in the middle there. There's an item. So, how do you like my swimming? Sharpedo, this is worth a giga drain and it'll die. Pretty sure Sludge Bomb might kill too, but it's one of those I don't want to take a chance with something that outspeeds me. Very nice. I 
have more power. So there's a chance I might have to start fighting out the random or the random encounters in Victory Road as well. This is just gonna be a protracted battle. There's like not much I can do here. There's also a chance it has liquid ooze, but I'm going to take that chance. Okay, no it doesn't, it has clear body. Like ideally Vile Plume to get up to 38. Poison. Okay, it's gonna be a damage roll. Okay. There's just too good of an EXP to not take. That okay. It's gonna be Aurora Beam. Body Slam. Strong. Too much so. Just be like that other swimmer and crave more power. Easy. Skill issue. Power issue. Issue with fate. Plus ratio. Um. Okay, so it just takes out. Should have used sneaky treachery. <laughs> yeah, or whatever it said. Yeah, should have used sneaky treachery. Should have used sneaky treachery. their draws, that's all. <laughs> this is the last trainer I can fight with Vile Bloom before healing. Intimidate's kind of bad because Sludge Bomb. Gyarados doesn't outspeed? Hello? Okay. I just have to hope I can kill him. Three sludge bombs. I'm pretty sure this thing's physically tanky. It's 
not nighttime though, so that's not gonna heal a lot. Okay, I'm pretty sure a crit kills me. So I really need you to hit yourself, buddy. Crash your fist to paw hand. Out of this thing. Yeah, okay. That should be 38 file blue. Yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah! Ludicolo desperately needs some help. If I had Needle Arm, this would be fine. Love Disker looking for a fun match. Okay. I hope they don't use Sneaky Treachery. I should absolutely ingrain. Turn. Pretty sure that out healed the water gun. It did, it out healed the water gun, Lamau. Let's go. Oopsie. Gotta love some of the victory quotes in this game. to see what that item is before deciding if I want to go back for it or not. I'm not nearly as high a level as I wanted to be going into this. I'm gonna be under leveled for Wally. I just want to see if I'm gonna be like super actually under leveled. Thank you. 
Okay, so yeah, that, that kind of do want that. Yeah, 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 okay. So that dive spot that uh, Drake Lux said I missed actually did lead to the Reggies, apparently. And therefore I don't care at all. But there is a rare candy that I do definitely want. I just need to take the middle route, get my rare candy, there's one more trainer, and then I'm good to go. That's Max Elixir, not Max Repel. on the lower side of it that that's that trainer. Heck. That's fine. I'm not going back again. I wanted the rear candy more than I wanted the trainer. You can see that from land even. What the heck? I'm scared. Let's... I'm very scared right now. Hold up. I don't want this to, like, start glitching everything ever. No, that's just how it be. Okay, I'm leaving now. You mean emulation error? Probably? That is bizarre. I didn't see that in Emerald or Ruby at all. Some dust got in the cartridge. Is it still like that, though? No, it's still like that, though. Now it's closer. Wait, no, it's not. Okay, I'm very confused.
Okay, so I've been live two hours. I'm not gonna make the same mistake I've been making with Nier, and I'm actually going to take a very small break before tackling Victory Road here. Ludicolo can actually just start gaining levels here. This is fine. Um, realistically, I don't think anyone needs the EXP share. Oh, wait, no, I need, um... Freaking Gyarados for this. Hey, you still have Rock Smash, that completely useless move in battle, right? Right? Right. Too bad it's mandatory. Just means I can't toxic stall on um, Wally or anyone here, really. Okay, so I'm gonna take a small break. I'll be back in 510. We'll actually tackle Victory Road. Don't go too far. I will be right back.
<clears throat> All right, chat, I am back. How's it going? Hello, hello. Hello, comma. I love that. Fair enough. No, I like hello, comma a little bit better. Let's just shoot a comma. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna minimize that outright. Actually, I don't need to. I can just hide it. And about everything else. Okay, so let's get back here. Well, I still wanna keep this so I can see what trainer is I'm coming to. Um, this one specifically. Okay. So it's about time I start teaching some of my good uh, HMs, like Earthquake. Sceptile is probably the better bet here, because uh, Cradley will learn um, Ancient Power. Brick breaks power in this gen. Seventy five, okay. I need a backup option for Steven Stone. Like, I straight up need an, uh, a backup plan. So, yeah. viable here. Yeah. Sunny Day is like absolutely the biggest gamble. If anything knows a fire move, I'm just screwed. So I won't bother. Rain Dance to counter it could be interesting though. But I won't. And then nothing can learn Shadow Ball, I'm assuming, yeah. Locking it in. Earthquake and Brick Break on Sceptile. Speaking of Sceptile, I want Sceptile leading at this point. Actually, no. Ludicolo can lead up to the first trainer because I am going to try and not use repels. map of this place would be nice. Of course this person did that. Why wouldn't they? Fantastic. So in Emeralds, while he comes out here, I remember him being at the end in Ruby Sapphire, but maybe I'm wrong. find out. Okay. So that's not that cool trainer. You're this cool trainer. One of these two cool trainers, both of which are okay for Ludicolo. Yeah. 
Maybe he gets his own special room, yeah. Sigh! It's not a coin toss, so it's okay, but sigh. Normally, I keep some awakenings. I need to go buy more um, lava cookies. I'm going to need to. I'm so severely underleveled. Okay. I've decided you don't hit that twice in a row. Anything super affect this. So, repels aren't going to help me if Ludicolo's leading. I should have saved one tile away so I didn't have to deal with the encounters. I've decided you don't hit that three times in a row. What is Grass Whistle's accuracy? I hit the wrong move because my button just double tapped for some reason. Wow, okay, so I've decided it doesn't hit three coin tosses in a row. I thought it was 70. I'm fighting this trainer in bailing. <laughs> I'm going to get more lava cookies. I'm going to need them. Okay, this is fine. I should have done fake out, but at this point I just wanted to see if it would hit a fourth in a row. That did a lot more than I thought it was going to for that step. I gotta remember for gold bats not to go for fake out because they don't flinch. Okay. I need more lava cookies if I'm gonna handle this. Something I should have considered in the first place, but here we are. Like, very concerningly underleveled, though. It's not Rustboro. I think it's Lava Ridge. I 
have the mock bike, sadly. Bouncy, bounce, bounce in the cable car. No hiker this time? Okay. That's fine. Hey there, give me lava cookies. Give me a lot of them. So, yeah, while I'm just, like, kind of doing this, yeah, um... I mentioned this yesterday towards the end of Nier Automata. Because I technically have an ending, I can, in theory, stop the playthrough whenever I want. I'm not going to stop it yet. I'm probably going to give it another week or so. But, um... I am very likely to stop before reaching, like, a true end. And just, like, continuing it as a filler game now and again. Just in the interest of moving on. But I am going to give it another week or so. Probably. So, um, that is just a heads up on that. So probably this week might be the last. Let's see where this week takes me. I'm not going to put it to a definitive. But I am also going to start picking up Wednesday as a bonus stream day. Like, I'm going to just pick it up as a fourth day. Um, just because, you know, there's a lot I want to... Like, I, I just, you know, it's what I got going on right now. Um... That could change. I'm just trying it out to see how four days would work versus what days people like, etc., etc. Okay, how many am I up to? 29. 30 should be okay. But also, like, yeah, when's this coming Wednesday, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna be, like, all grinded up, I think. I don't see myself getting to it today, though, and I don't want to start the Elite Four when I'm already just under level for Victory Road. So we're just gonna take this very methodically, I think. I'm not going to bother cooking a wild. I have soda pops and lemonades. I don't like the idea, but I have them. Okay, cool. Kill. Yeah, the EXP is still pretty good on the wilds, actually thinking on it. Okay, you are that guy, so I'm going to go ahead and just start with Sceptile, I believe. That possibility doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I 
like that set up a little bit better. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I saw the full restore coming. It's not a damage roll. Now this is bad because if this thing has Sludge Bomb, I think Sceptile just dies and that's okay. Because I'm right next to the center. Sludge, that's the same thing. Yeah, okay, it wasn't even a crit. That's fine. That's fine then. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. My levels are a problem, like a very massive problem. If you full restore again, I have to reset them. Okay. Because there's no way I'm taking it down at this point. Possible, you did lost. Okay, Vile Plume needs to not be first here. None of my mons are fast at this point either, so like getting away from stuff is a huge deal. 53, 53, 7. Oh, Breloom is decently fast. Just if it's a goal bat, I it, it will die. Okay. How many escape ropes do I have? That's gonna be important. One. I don't think I have any in the computer. Sceptile up front, I think. No, because Ludicolo can, like, best handle most of everything around. Well, Sceptile can handle a lot, too. Just not the gold bats. I guess that was that one. The next one is one for Ludicolo anyway. Or anyone, really. Okay, I literally just saved. Out of an idea is this. That was a crit. Oh my god. I wanted to save, but like it delayed me getting into this encounter for some reason. That was a crit, okay. At that moment, uh, you get in a Metroidvania where you look at the spot on the map trying to get into, you realize it's a really obvious path, yeah. I just saved. I want to reset so bad. It's just a Wismer, okay. It's just classic overthinking. I 
What I'm wondering is how the hell I am this underleveled. Like, yeah, I didn't grind on wilds at any point, but I have fought basically every trainer in the game. Oh, that is the opposite of worth. Oh, okay, okay. That was just that guy. Okay, I was about to get concerned. There's just a stab wing attack. There's nothing I can do. I just saved. If Ludicolo dies, I'm resetting. There's just no getting around it. Oh, nice. Never mind. Gen 3 sells a Gen 2 problem. Yeah. Like, I am of the firm belief that if you fight every actual sanctioned battle, optional or otherwise, in your way in a game, you should be at level to handle whatever the end game is. I don't mind grinding in games, it's just when it's kind of enforced or be underleveled, it's not, I'm not a fan. How bad do I want to give Wally his fair fight anyway? Like, how bad do I actually want to give Wally this fair fight? Big design mindset in old JRPGs. Yeah, that's true. Aerial Ace should kill. If it didn't, I was screwed. Bit. But how bad do I actually want to give Wally a fair fight? Just because here is Flash, this is why I have a map. Man, the devs didn't have to put as much content, try and fit it all in tiny storage space, padded the games out longer, people talk about it more, yeah. Tedium as a design choice was a thing back then. This is why I'm bringing in the Gyarados! I'm saving rather frequently just because I don't want to get screwed by a golden. Archaic philosophy at this point needs to leave. Same with lives. Lives is just a hangover of arcade gaming.
And if you could just belly drum again, that'd be sweet. Yes, thank you. So there I am. Can I get there, like, any other way? There's a seven time for egg deliverance. I think, wow, Dev's ran out of ideas, yeah. I'm not gonna go that far in my criticism of it, but yeah, it's, it's kind of one of those. At this point, if I'm forced to run. That said... Um... Like, I think lives are worse. Because with grinding, you can kind of more or less save wherever you like and whenever you like. So, like, you're always, even an inch of progress, even if it takes, like, an hour, an inch cutting into that mile is fine. But take that same mile and decide that every, like, quarter mile, you could just have to start from the beginning of that mile. I think losing progress is worse than padding. I didn't see what you had, actually. You have Dodrio. I'm not ready for that. Oh my god. Hanging on to that for dear life. Toma Bomium 4's adventure mode recommended mode and really works, yeah. Sorry, I'm never not calling that. <laughs> It's not a dig at Tome 4. Tell me I'm mommy, I don't know you. Um, it's not a dig at the game itself. The game looks fine. I'll play it eventually someday, maybe. But um, it's just a silly little thing. is never a good thing. So it hits really hard and is stab. Okay, oh crit. That mattered a lot actually. Five out of ten bird Pokemon. Oh, he's as good as Zatu. <laughs> yeah, Zatu. Zatu is a bad Pokemon, by the way. We have, I haven't gotten to that part yet. In my editing, I mean, I haven't gotten there yet. Okay, I don't see you one-shotting me. Okay, this helps a lot. I am very much seeing a future site, but in case you go for psychic. Roleplay. Okay. Have fun with that sand veil, I guess. Have fun with double sand veil, I guess. Why did I go for pen missile, actually? Oh, but it's three times. It's. 
guarantee. Okay, down. Anyway, it's probably a full restore time. No, oh, okay. Have fun with three sand veils. <laughs> okay. I know you can't use Psychic. I'm not sure what you were going for with any of this. It just wants to RP on Gaia Online. Okay, Ludicolo is just more and more of an option at this point. How many Orons do I have? Nine, cool. I have eight citrus? Okay. Would have been better then. That's my guess, yeah. Okay, right, where am I on the map? I'm there. I'm there, right, yeah. I'm going up for that island. It wants me to go there, but why? do that all day long. That doesn't help me in the slightest. That leads to... the hell to get out of here according to this map? Oh, there. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Right. So I'm gonna see if that's an option. That's the other way around. Okay, so I can't get to there from there, and that's what I was after. Then how the hell do I get to there? Through there, I would assume. Oh cool, it saved the fact that I was using string. I will save scum up to the point where I can actually use, um... Repels. If I have to. I like that it read that I was going to go for a cookie. Too bad the bag is full. Okay, cool. This is the XP. Okay, one surf straight up kills a Lyron. That's like ideal for grinding. 
is ideal. And then I think I can just straight up go left from here, right? Yeah. Left, down, around, do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. Yeah, that's a return node from there, so. So I remembered this formation, I just assumed it was from the other side. Okay, so we get through there. There's a trainer down here. Only 38, I can run from this, probably. Hariyama is not fast. I know that because Hariyama was like my last second team addition that I caught in Victory Road itself. Okay, you are that trainer, and also you weren't right on the pixel I thought you were. Ludicolo basically all the way here, except Drought is going to be a thing. Unless you're this person, in which case I have made a mistake. This is not who I thought you were at all, but I will take it. Cosmic power is very annoying, actually. Do 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 do. Really glad I didn't go for Solar Beam in the end. That, that is my thought. Okay, so there's not another trainer towards where I'm going. Yes. Darude Sandstorm. <laughs> yeah, sure. Is there anything else along here? I'm gonna go with probably not. Yeah, no. Wait. Yeah, no. And then I can actually just drop straight down and get to where I'm going. Okay. So the map marked it weird. The map I'm using marked it very weird. Checks. Oh, no. I, th I thought I read that as flinched for a second. Okay, that's 40 Ludicolo, which is very good. Ludicolo is probably the most important mon in Victory Road, all things considered. Is four. Okay. Not a lot, but it's four ethers, so. Okay, so that takes me to here. There is a trainer there. Is that where I want to go? That is not where I want to go, but that is something I want. 
Now, I don't know what trainer this is going to be. Very likely that one? One of those two. Either way, Kecleon is a good lead. Or not Kecleon. Uh, Ludicolo is a good lead. Kecleon is not a good lead here. <laughs> it is not a leaf type pocket monster. Okay, I wanted to see. Okay, so you are very likely Sand Slash Ninetales. Likely. Yes, okay. Stab, serve, kills, but I want to make sure. Ninetales coming in. Did not come in with drought. Okay. Did come in with confuse ray, though. Dove, what do those sound effects even do? They make me feel better. You had a Sand Slash and a Ninetales. What were you going to do against the Elite Four? Right, where am I? There. Yes, this is the Surf Waterfall part. That's fine, I can pick that up, actually. Love to, actually, but... Okay, that just leads straight down to this. If Vileplume can learn this, this is gargantuan for me. That would have been gargantuan. But no one on my team can learn Psychic and that's depressing. That would have given me a real big edge against poison types. Would have given me something to do with uh, Vileplume in the cave as well because a lot of things are weak against Psychic. Looking at Golbat and Hariyama there.
gotten psychic, so in theory I go straight back up. Okay, so from here... There is a trainer here. I think this is one I want Sceptile for. This is one I want Sceptile for. Oh, I'm thinking on it. Soft sand. It is in storage, I think. Okay, I think, yeah, there's one of two things you can be. I think you're that guy. Yes, okay. Made it the fight type. You don't have a lot of physical defense as much as... Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't crit, I'm okay, yeah. That's fine. This is why I did Earthquake again. Blade kills the Rhyhorn. Very good. I can start repelling. So I'm under leveled for Wally, but not by a whole lot. Okay, so that was that guy. There's that guy there. I don't know what you are. So I'm not super underleveled for Wally. Like I am. The Altaria is 45 and outspeeds. And I think has aerial ace. Stab Aerial Ace might one-shot Ludicolo. I did not see you there. You were not marked on the map. Which one? Are you? I think I know which one you are, though. Yeah, so, like, leading with Subtile is still okay here. That is absolutely a full restore. do have. I know it's a sharply rose, but I don't want to waste all my earthquakes, though. I'm sitting at plus four, and I don't like that. We're getting to the point where Leaf Blade might just be better. Okay. Less okay. It's whatever.
Now you again. This time you don't you're not plus four. Anyway, that was the scary trainer. The next one's not so bad. Or that keeps putting me to sleep. Help. I don't know what to tell you, really. Alright, so I should be here. Alright. Sleepy weather, young mood. Okay, you don't look to be a spinner. You have one of two things, neither of which are that scary. But this is absolutely a Ludicolo battle. Actually, this is kind of an everybody battle. I think eventually I get a uh, Sceptile out. A crit would have killed and I absolutely would have reset. I knew I wasn't going to die to not a crit though. Good, I can start uh, repelling with Ludicolo. I'm pretty low so I see you going for Psychic Air. No, okay. Nice role play, you nerd. record I am not allowed to switch into the Gyarados. It is not a grass type and therefore I'm not using it. Like I'm not allowed to swap to it to like let it die and get healed. This is the full restore. I still have a Cadaver and Ship Tree. <laughs> Vito Corleone, yeah. Okay, Cacturn. Good. This should just be Ship Tree. Ludicolo's good here. I can waste a revive. Actually, I can just see what you do. Nature Power into Shadow Ball. Oh no, not my spadef that you're not attacking. I'm switching to Ludicolo here. Double shifting, shifting, <laughs> switching to Ludicolo here. Although Aerial Ace would have been fine, but it just hardened, so this is fine. No, no, not your special attack that you're not using. was a really good fight for like my team, my entire team. Oh, that's good. There is one, the opposite of scary fight coming up and then one pretty easy fight coming up. Yeah, the rest of the trainers are basically free.
I have some levers. I want to throw one on Earthquake, I think. But I can do that later. Actually, I can just give you one and you'll use it. When Earthquake is low enough, I think. That's a potential double battle. Where am I? Okay. Okay, so I need to get back in the water, which I will switch to Sceptile for. So that puts me out there. Oh, I thought I hit yes on that. Whoops. Is there any way I can make this not a double battle? That's the way forward. Emerald thing, okay. I had already sense saved. And then I want Ludicolo for you for sure. Please, Belly Drum. That was a crit. Well, now you can't. Okay, it went for it again. That's good for me. Sceptile can stay out, that's fine. Ludicolo is a little bit more important right now. Yeah, it should just kill you. It should, yeah. If I hadn't crit, that would have been fine. I mean, it was fine anyway, but like, it would have been fine. Come to think of it, I think Sceptile was a better bet here. Actually, yeah, come to think of it, Sceptile's a better bet here. Just because... thing. I had already swapped, okay. That's not what I want to swap to. Let's 
Steady Jam, yep. Ooh, not great for me if I don't kill. Really odd choice to use Shadow Ball. That's what we in the business like to call a full restore. As a damage roll, that's valid. I can't complain. I mean, I probably will, but I can't. Trainer in the shell. Cool trainer! Trainer. Slam. Nope. That's the way! Okay. And the last one, I definitely want Ludicolo. I shouldn't have taken that, but I wanted the trainer. Okay, so we're back there. That was on me. I should save at the stairs so that that doesn't happen. Old trainer Agatha, yeah. This is the literal only reason for Gyarados to exist right now. I was worth a spot on my team. One trainer and then Wally. Fake out is just lovely when I'm using it. I didn't know if Ice Wing killed there, that's good to know. Okay, you lead with the Altaria.
You already know, chat. And I'm under leveled, so this is a real fight. I used all of them? Okay. Not good. Safeguard is good. That's good for me. Dragon Dance is not good for me because Aerial Ace. You're already fast enough. But quad weak, so yeah, it was fine. That's why I didn't reset. Zelia, I can... Toxic is whatever. Toxic is actually fine. I have an emergency full restore, and I'm gonna buy a lot more after this. Wow! Oh, that was a crit. I was gonna say, Jesus. That was... That's some special attack that Ludicolo has. Okay, this is, um, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Thunderbolt, that's fine. I resist. The Paralyze is gonna suck. One time I needed it not to miss. Thank you, Sky Uppercut. Bye, Magneton. Bye, Magneton. Back with ice cream. Yay! I like ice cream. Gotta voir. I think I sack, honestly. I think I sack. Oh, I could have swapped for free. What am I doing? I could have swapped for free. Because there was no way it wasn't doing psychic there. Uh, French vanilla, specifically. Nice. Double team is good. That's a super potion range? Okay. That's a, you're using super potion? Cookies and cream is actually a really, really, really godlike flavor of ice cream. It's so good. I love cookies and cream ice cream. Is that a super potion? Oh, mine. Very good. What else do you have? Del Caddy, and that's it. Okay. Charm is fine. Can't do a track, so that's good. What else do you have on that thing? Sing and faint attack. And so you're useless. Oh, but it can use like anything. Here you can toxic me, which would be really bad. That is like the worst thing it can do though. I have cookies for this. Fine, this is fine. Ooh, what of what of you knows try attack? Oh, the magneton. Oh, that's bad. Okay, this is why I did ingrain too though. In case it actually had a move. Cool, 
missed. Very good. Coffee ice cream is severely underrated. Coffee ice cream is great. You get a nice bitterness and sweetness. Right, Ludico is poisoned. Let's buy like a bajillion full restores before I switch games. On Wednesday we beat this and I'm going to be a lot higher level. Overkill, but we're doing this anyway. Okay, let's sell one singular item that I may get my thing. Upkey. Thank you for taking my polite suggestion. Cool. I don't need Gyarados at all anymore. Okay. Okay, what do I not need? Full, uh, full heals are fine. Rare candy I'm keeping. EXP share I'm keeping. Quick Claw might have used. Firestone, Sanchez. Uh, that might help. It might help in a pinch. Don't need those anymore. I'll keep the soda pops. They might come in handy. Chat needs more purple. Hey, Ratmus, how's it going? Okay, so let's get that. Let's get those. Get that for you. That. That. Okay, there's no more room in the back. That's fine. Game's going all right. Uh, I'm going to be switching to Nier Automata here soon just because, like, um, I'm at the Elite Four and it's otherwise I'm doing a lot of grinding. Okay, Gyarados needs to not be in my com in my party right now. He needs to be in computer. Computer Gyarados. Computer Dose. Okay. HP up. Ludicolo feels like the best option for it. I'm not going to use the rare candy yet. Wait, this raises speed. Who has the highest speed? 123. Septile by a very wide margin. are no longer needed. Okay, that's that. That can get held by someone. I'll work that out later. The ether stuff can, oh, like all the rest of this can be fine. are all fine with it. Okay. okay, what level am I going to? That's the big one.
Okay. I'm a bit under level to for for even Sydney at this point. It goes to 49 versus Stephen Stone going to um yeah, 58. Okay. So I think I go to about 55 and I'll be fine. Okay, so what's my game plan? Let's start from the top. Cacturn takes out Sydney more or less. Oh wait, no, uh, that's Dark type. Um, Breloom more or less takes out Sydney. I will need um, Ludicolo for the Cacturn. For the Spore ability can learn before evolved, yeah. Um, Breloom can learn Spore and False Swipe, making it probably the best catcher in the game. The Absol has Aerial Ace and Sword Stance, so it needs to die fast, otherwise it's not a problem. Cacturn just handles Phoebe, just solo. Except for the Sableye, but it's a Sableye Lamo. Glacia is kind of scary, but... Like, it's just the two Glalies are the only pure Ice type, and... I think Brelu might just be able to handle it, if not Sceptile with Brick Break. Should just sweep the entire team. Sceptile handles that, I think. Drake is basically the Ludicolo show. Ice Beam takes care of basically all of it. Uh, nothing super scary there, I don't think. Fly, actually. Flygon. One of the Flygons in Salamence having Fly is kind of scary. The Salamence having Fly is terrifying. Um, that might come down to Toxic Stalling. And then Steven is just a mess. There's not much I can say about it. Um, Skarmory is a setup mon, and I have no way of inflicting fire. So, like, or electricity. So, I just have to kill it fast and pray. Claydol and Agron die to Ludicolo. Probably the Cradily also. Giga Drain is neutral. Sludge Bomb is... Actually, no, Sludge Bomb is terrifying. Um... Armaldo dies to Ludicolo, and then Metagross is once again a starter Earthquake race. There's just nothing else to say about it. So I get to about 55, I should be fine, like on average. Which is going to be a tall order, but by Wednesday I should handle that. I should be fine. Cradily is just kind of my ace in the hole for Toxic Stalling. Sceptile and Breloom are my fighters. Vileplume is here for, like, probably healing and Giga Drain. And Cacturn is just a beast if I can set up, so. So it's not going to be free, but it's also not going to be terrible either. I just have to grind. That's all. I thought I would be a decent enough level. Wow, I was under-leveled going into Victory Road, though, so. 